probably the most degraded part of the Western Ghats. But in the degraded area, we find little patches of green with incredible forest cover and a very high diversity of life. It has been preserved through local traditions as it is believed that the forest is sacred. India, deities like this tiger goddess are venerated and the forest patches dedicated to them are strictly protected. People have believed that if you cut a branch of a tree in this forest without taking permission of the deity, a calamity will befall them in their village or in their family. Utilization of resources from the grove is controlled by rituals. Whichever of these two grains of rice falls first, provides an answer from the goddess as to whether a tree can be cut or not. As local traditions begin to disappear due to development processes, we will have to find alternatives to the traditional means of saving forests. school children who live around the sacred grove to visit their grove and understand its traditional values and its new value in terms of biodiversity conservation. 
and we have also taken urban children along with these rural kids to the sacred groves where they can interact and talk to each other about the forest that they see. And their expressions of delight are sometimes very, very rewarding for us to watch. And I feel we have been able to change their concepts on why we need to conserve forest. हासत बिजती ने सड़ों गर उड़ाता कि ने घेती निर्द कड़े कपारी रानो रानी नाद नाचरा भरे जिकड़े तिकड़े पानी च पानी खड़ खड़ नारे जरे